Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is OK Manuel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to configure your Shia Studio code to read your PHP code. So first thing first I'm going to open my Visual Studio code. So be sure. Now I really am not necessary to do all of this. Or just for you to understand um, I will open my ZAMP uh, you can get my video on how to install a local server like ZAMP onto your system so I'm just gonna create a new folder right here and call it uh, a name that we apply to what I need so I'll call it uh, voting system so I'm creating the new um, set of videos on voting system so now I only need to right click here and click open with code and just the code is going to give me this interface right now what I would need is that yeah you trust the authors of the files in this folder um, yes I do trust the author I actually created a video on how to answer this question properly when you are installing your VS code you can get my video on that one too so I'll just say yes I chose this auto and then I'm gonna create my first file right here and call it um, index.php and after creating this index.php I have this error and this is what I want us to fix how to fix this error so I'll click open settings so how to the fixed PHP validation of executable part so just click edit in JSON so JSON is JavaScript object notation so uh, if we can see that there's no valid part that our VS code can read to fix the PHP code or to interpret the PHP code so the only thing I'm going to do right now is just that I'm going to open my now ZAMP so let me close this I install my ZAMP in my root folder which is what I also advise everybody to do most times so yeah I'll find this PHP folder and then inside this PHP folder there's php.exe that's the executable file for PHP so this is it use this PHP application this one that is application is the exe so by right click and check the properties of this you can see dot exe so whenever I see the application it could be dot exe so not this configuration settings this one so what we are going to do right now is that we are going to copy this part so if you installed your ZAMP in some other places apart from where I installed my own just navigate directly to the place and look for your PHP or your, any local server that you're using. So I'm just gonna come here and I really don't think I need the first one I open. So what I'll do here is I'll paste uh, the address. So how I got the address, I just clicked here and control C to copy. So getting here you can see this invalid escape character in string. Just don't bother about it. You are going to fix this right here. Uh, we can make it either a backslash or a forward slash and um, you just have to add one more to it. Let's say slash php dot exe. Um, do what I do here. So I'm just gonna change this to a forward slash and change this to a forward slash. So if I on zoom, these are the errors they brought before. So uh, check this and check this. And now that's what it is basically set. Let me close this file. Automatically I use an auto save. If you are not using auto save, just press control and hit on your keyboard. But I use this auto save option of VS Code. So automatically this has been solved. Just put C ZAMP and then this is the path to the executable uh, um, application of PHP. 
another way you can do this is to make is to add your PHP to part. So I'm not going to cover all of that right in this video. I'm just going to cover this one for the sake of uh, what exactly I want to um, drive here. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and drop where you are watching me from. Let me know where you are watching from and uh, please like this video because uh, I'll be sharing with you a lot of PHP and a lot of web development tips that will really boost your skill so uh, make sure you like this video thank you